Okay, guys, I just want to do a quick uh, morning update video. <laughs> you know what kind of mess I got myself into today because uh, this one looks a little more complicated. But this is basically the switch that I had. Uh, and this is the one that runs one of my uh, wenches on the crane. And this is actually the cable. That, so this will run the cable that goes in and out. Now, this remote, I was lucky enough, all I had to do is buy a little adapter kit. And this remote actually picks the arm up and down. So that's what this remote does. So I'm trying to add this remote right here, which will, uh, one, if I can get this working, this will actually, the wire that goes down and up, this, that's what this one will operate. And if I can get uh, both of these remotes working, um, it would be awesome. Because this switch right here is bad. It's, it's uh, broken inside here. And this switch right here cost about $89. Yeah, it was right at 100 bucks. So I may as well just buy a new motor. Well, I was able to buy this switch here on Amazon for about $29. And so we're going to see if we can get it work. And what came with the switch here, here's, here's the little remote. Um, and this has the little antenna right here. And that's connected to these remotes right here. And then this is the little solenoid that we got to hook up uh, right here. And then this is my little wire diagram right here. And I've been in here this morning scratching my head trying to figure out what connects to what. But I think I got it figured out. It's pretty simple. This is the, <clears throat> this is the power in. Um, you know, obviously that's the ground right there. And then this is the power positive and negative going out to the motor right here. And then hopefully when I hit this, I turn this switch on right here. And I'll be able to hit this. And that'll activate this this relay right here and make the motor either go up or down it just reverses the polarity on the on the motor is basically all it does so we'll see uh, hopefully it could be a total disaster we'll see here in about 20-30 uh, minutes I got to make up some little wire harnesses here I got to go outside there and figure out where I'm gonna mount this switch it's actually a little bit bigger and a little bit heavier than I thought but we'll see also yesterday I ordered a I'll show you a picture here last night I uh, ordered a um, a meter so that we can test our panels up on the top of the uh, bimney there because right now I really have no way of testing all they do is give you these cheap little um, uh, controllers they don't tell you any they give you no information about the panel but also you know I've got suspicious that suspicions that these panels are not going to put out 200 watts right now the boat is completely running on solar my boat is uh, but it doesn't keep up uh, I mean that could be the controllers, you know, there's a lot of factors involved in that But it probably has to do with the controllers and the batteries and stuff like that So I just want to test to see how many watts the panels are putting out because once I know how many watts the panels are putting out The exact wattage the exact amperage and then how I want to wire the panels then I can order my controllers for uh, the batteries So that's what I'm working on also, but that uh, gauge won't be here till Monday so and it also will help us with um, <laughs> with um, um, Glenn's system over there on the trolley craft. It really won't help. We already know all the specs on that panel because it's really clearly marked on the back. And then uh, we have the we have the official codes on those ones of the panels being tested, and we see that we've already tested them. But we can also confirm the wiring as we keep going down and down with the wiring that everything's looking good and that's so I bought the tester it was about a hundred bucks but and I've always wanted one so I just went ahead and picked it up so anyway let's go outside here and uh, take a look and see what we got and uh, see what we're gonna do to wire in the switch all right so you can see I've kind of hot wired this right here sorry I've kind of hot wired hot wired this right here so that if I need to use this I could use it and right now all I have to do is basically this is the positive and the negative for the motor and so I can just touch this on here and that makes the motor go one way I gotta go turn the switch on and then if I go this way, it goes the opposite way. So this, one of these is negative and one of them is positive. And so then we just need to connect these wires into here. So that's what we're gonna do right now.
All right, I got some cleaning up to do here, but this actually works. So, and I'll show you the whole operation once I get it all mounted, but that's, that's in and that's down right there. And that's up, let's see it working. So anyway, like I said, I got to change out a couple connectors, a couple more connectors, and we should be good to go. As you can see right here, here's the remote right here. Here's the switch right here, it's all wired, uh, everything looks good. So this is where the switch comes in. This is where the old, uh, you know, where my switch comes in and then it connects to this wireless remote right here. And then that tells it to give power to the positive or the negative side. So when I go down, it should let out, let out slack. And when I go up, it should go, it should take in slack. So anyway, so everything's working perfect here. Um, and now I'm just gonna bolt that down up there so that it doesn't move around and then I'll probably zip tie this on somehow. There was no guarantee any of this was gonna work. This one always works, so out is down. And this one right here is so that one's the boom going up and down and this one right here is the um, down so that should go that should leave me pressure right there going down now if I want to go up so like you can see I got two remotes now now I don't have any so when I bought this thing this was all hands you oh, it was miserable getting the dinghy on and off of here but now you can see I just have two remotes and even the package, this was only $29, and I got two uh, actual remotes, so that was pretty cool. So it should be easy now to get the dinghy on and off the boat, no problem, or the bicycle. I use it for the bicycle and I use it for the dinghy. And if I ever had any heavy lifting, I would use it for that too. Okay guys, so uh, you can see that the crane is working now, uh, which is super awesome. Uh, so today we were getting the crane working, uh, you know, I just loved it. Uh, and I'm also been playing with the solar panels a little bit the last couple days uh, One of the big things that I've been doing is just letting the boat run on solar uh, To see what's going on, but I really can't do anything until I get my tester and know what the wattage is What's going on with my panels and if my panels are even putting out I've got a feeling that they're not going to be they're not going to be rated for 200 watts each So that's 800 watts if they were my you know, that's about uh, three to four kilowatts of electricity a day should be holding uh, the, this it should be keeping this boat completely topped off for the night but something in my electrical is going on so I, and i've got to dig deeper and deeper into it but first of all i want to get the panels going anyway it was very cool putting that switch on there now i'm even actually thinking about putting one of those remote switches uh on the windlass because i think that would be cool it was 29 bucks it was a really nice switch and that and i got two remotes with it so you know i don't know i might i might add that to the windlass actually too so Anyway, peace out. Have a great week, you guys. Uh, I will see you Monday. I'll come up with a video of, uh, I'm not sure. Well, my, my meter for my panels should be here on Monday, so that should be very cool. So we can start testing those panels and let you guys know the exact specs on the panels on Southern Estate, not um, uh, at ease. That That's a, another uh, solar project that we're working on, but we I know what the wattage is on those panels, but I am going to check it. But anyway. Peace out. Have a great weekend. You guys uh, be good or be good at it. And remember, live life with no regret. I do.